Man, you got to love the internet. It's definitely changed life as we know it. It certainly changed my life as I know it for the better. It's a wonderful place where you can go to gather new knowledge and expand your brain. It's a place where you can go and be creative. It's a place where you can build a business. And well, it's also a place where individuals can sling accusations against other individuals and organizations. And well, sometimes those accusations start to stick. And well, this has been a fun week of sticking accusations as we've seen Carnival Cruise Line come out and defend itself against an accusation that they do not pay their tipped crew members, that those tipped crew members only get paid by us, the cruiser. Ah, Time to run it through the Tony filter. Begs the question, what is Carnival doing? Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here to talk you through everything going on in cruising. And well, today we have a doozy. I was on the fence whether to run this through the Tony filter or not, but I've seen a lot of other commentators out there that I love and respect putting in their two cents, and I thought, well, I've got two cents also. The controversy is this. There is a very vocal Facebook group out there publishing accusations that Carnival does not pay their tipped employees, that they completely rely on the tips that cruisers give that we give to pay their tipped employees. And the primary tipped employees that we're talking about would be the housekeeping staff, the wait staff in the buffet, in the main dining room, essentially anybody who is getting a portion of the assigned daily gratuity, those people would only be getting their pay from the assigned daily gratuity and not any pay from Carnival Cruise Line specifically. Now this is a shocking accusation because it goes against what's generally believed that the cruise lines hire people on contract, that that contract includes a base salary, therefore Carnival would be paying those employees. And then the gratuities that come from the assigned daily gratuities would be in addition to the salary that that employee is already earning from Carnival. This is a core idea when it comes to cruising. This is how the cruise industry positions to the consumer that the tipped crew members are paid. And so the idea that the cruise company would give zero dollars to their employees, making them rely completely on tips is pretty salacious. It's it's one of those things that really has bad optics on it. And I believe that's why Carnival Cruise Line had to address it. I spent about six years working in a tipped position and that drove me to do some research on how tipping salaries work in the United States. I'm gonna share that information with you. Let's run through the accusation and the response. I'll explain to you how it works in the US and how I think that also applies to the cruise industry, even though these are not US businesses. I do believe the model is similar Uh, But first, here's the accusation. This was posted by John Heald, the brand ambassador for Carnival. He's posting a message that he received. The message is, I am reading that Carnival is not giving these tips to the crew in addition to their salary, but instead they are using this money to pay their salary and then paying them the difference to make up their agreed salary. If this is true, I will have to reconsider paying the gratuities. I've got a problem with that comment in itself. So essentially the post is saying what they heard is that Carnival isn't giving the crew members any money at all. They're only giving them the money that comes through the tips that cruisers give. And then if that's less than some sort of number that's been established, then Carnival will top it up. That's what I'm getting from this post. And therefore, if that is the practice, then I'm not gonna give any money at all, which is ridiculous because if you thought that the only money that the crew member was getting was the money that was given by cruisers in the form of tips, Why would you withhold that money? I I guess maybe to force Carnival to pay more? I, I still I still don't like that argument, but here's how here's how John responds. This was one of the comments I received today on the subject. I think those who have written to me and all who are concerned, I understand why, of course. This comes from a Facebook group page. It is moderated by a person who continues to spout such nonsense like this. I found it to be fruitless exercise trying to reason with them anymore, so I blocked him ad- advertising his page. Normally, I would never comment on this, but let me say categorically that this is nonsense. 
totally 100% false, totally 100% inaccurate. Despite what they write, please do not believe this. We do not use gratuities you so graciously give to pay the crew. It is an utter fabrication and untrue. Now, John's response is a little bit challenging to me because it's not super clear. You can almost make the case that he's saying that crew members don't get any of the gratuities that you give, which I don't think that's what he is saying. I think he's basically saying that the salary part of what Carnival gives to the crew member is from Carnival, not from the customer. I did go over to Carnival's website to read exactly what their gratuity policy is. Let me throw up what I feel like is very important from that page and a question that many people ask, particularly how are the assigned gratuities distributed? It says here, it is customary for guests to extend gratuities to shipboard staff in appreciation for their hard work and exceptional service. 100% of your gratuities are distributed to crew you interact with, such as stateroom attendants, dining and culinary services staff, as well as others who work behind the scenes to enhance your overall cruise experience. Applying this charge automatically streamlines the recognition process and it ensures our crew will share in your generosity. The Carnival website makes it clear that 100% of the assigned gratuities go to crew members. That's a question that always lingers out there. When I give my gratuities, who's getting that money? Do the crew members get it? Is it money that goes to build a new roller coaster? Is it money that goes to something else? Carnival says very plainly on their public website, which they will be held accountable for because they're a publicly traded company. They're saying that 100% of the gratuities that are given to the cruise line are distributed to crew members. So when you pay your assigned gratuity, know that a crew member will get that money based on what this public website says. Again, publicly traded company, they're held accountable to these things that they publish. They would have to show that in accounting if they were ever questioned about it. To me, that gives me some confidence that what's being said on this website is true. And then back to John's point, I think what he's trying to say is that the gratuities aren't the only way that crew members get paid. They are paid a salary by Carnival and the gratuities are in addition to that salary. Now, anybody out there who's ever worked a job where tipping is part of your compensation, you know that your base salary will be less than an employee who does not receive tips. A lot of times I hear people complaining saying, well, it would be better if crew members on cruise ships were able to be protected under the same labor laws that United States workers are protected under. Well, did you know there's a big disparity between the minimum wage for tipped positions and non-tipped positions in the U.S.? Back in the early 90s, I worked as a restaurant server in a fine dining restaurant. The minimum wage for the country at that time, I think, was $5, $4 or something. At that time, my minimum wage as a tipped worker was $2.13. Now, interestingly, I just went and researched what the minimum wage for tipped workers in the United States is by federal law here in 2023. Do you know what it is? $2.13. It blows my mind a little bit that that thing is unchanged with all the talk about rising minimum wages and those kind of things. The federal minimum wage for the United States is currently $7.25. However, states can pass laws to increase the minimum wage, and you'd have to go through the whole chart just to see where the various minimum wages are. There are states that are extremely higher. Like in Florida, the minimum wage for tipped employees is over $7, and then the minimum wage in general in Florida is like $11. And so this concept of a company paying a tipped worker less than what they would pay a non-tipped worker and then having that tipped worker benefit from the tips of their customers is not an odd concept. It's a very American concept. I know a lot of times people want to think that the way labor works on cruise ships is pretty far out there. And there are some extremes with you know the cruise ship, like working every day with no days off, that kind of thing. But the idea of this basic, you know, the cruise line's going to pay a tipped employee less than they're going to pay a non-tipped employee. Not that surprising at all and not that different than what happens on land here in the United States. But with all that said, let me say the thing that I always say. I hate the way that tipping is done in cruising. It's set up so that the consumer often double tips. This automatic gratuity was put in place. The cruise line say very plainly, we've made it easier for you. We're just going to assign the gratuities and everybody that's supposed to get gratuities, they're going to get gratuities. But 
yet you're still standing there with an employee that's serving you face to face. And the culture that we're brought up in the United States is when somebody gives you service face to face, you should give that person a gratuity. So like me, I'm always gonna give my assigned gratuities because I don't wanna run the risk of shorting anybody that should have gotten part of the gratuities that I give. And then at the same time, I'm going to give more because I tend to want to reward the person that's right there in front of me doing something nice for me. I give money to my room steward at the end of the cruise. Most of the time when somebody serves me a drink, even though I've already paid a gratuity, I'm gonna pay a gratuity then. It's just one of those things that I guess is baked into our culture and into our existence that when somebody is giving you service in your face, you should tip that person. And look, I've seen a better system in play. I have cruised on Virgin Voyages and none of the crew members are expecting a gratuity. You pay all that on the front end, their complete salary is baked into the cruise fare and you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't have to be awkward. You don't need to worry about if everybody got money that was supposed to get money. To me, that is a much better situation and I kind of wish that the rest of the cruise industry in North America would adopt it. Let me say this, I've talked to many Carnival crew members, tipped crew members, and I've never had one of them say that they were being not paid properly, that they weren't getting a salary from the cruise line. But I know regardless of who says it, whether it's a corporate representative, whether it's something published on a website, there will still be people out there that believe whatever accusation is floating around out there. And I think that opens up an interesting comment. How do you feel about tipping in the cruise industry? Do you feel like cruise lines are doing right by their employees? Do you think there is a better structure for gratuities on cruise ships than what they have now? Leave a comment below. Thanks so much for checking out the show today. If you want more deep dives into the cruise news, make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. If you got value out of the show today, please hit the like button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise news.